If you have been watching my YouTube channel for a while, you probably know that I spent January and February of this year in the hospital before I had my son. I was really sick and he had to spend some time in the NICU and we were so lucky that my parents were able to fly out from St. Louis for a couple weeks while I was in the hospital to help hold the fort down. My parents took care of the dogs and mom cooked lasagna to put in our freezer and sat with our son in his NICU room when we needed to sleep so someone would be there with him. One of the small but amazing things that they did is that they left little post-it notes all over our house when we came home from the hospital. This one says, I'm so, so proud of you and my dad left this in my office. And of course my mom knew exactly what to say. She put one of these little post-it notes in Biscuit's changing table that said sometimes a nap can turn everything around. And I can't tell you how many times I opened that drawer when I was so tired and I saw that and remembered that I really needed to sleep when my baby was sleeping. And I haven't taken any time off work, so those naps were exactly what I needed to recharge my brain. And if you're a working mom, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These little post-it notes are an example of something called the positivity effect. One thing that we know from research is that positive information has a huge effect on us and our mood and how we act. These little notes are perfect examples of positive information that for us were just sprinkled around our house. So during one of the hardest times of our lives, we had little bits of positive information when we needed it the most. We really like to pay attention to information that makes us feel good. That's the positivity effect. And those positive emotions we get really affect our decisions. In fact, we know that when we communicate with other people and give them positive information, they actually spend less time trying to figure out whether they should believe our message and they're more likely to buy in. What does this mean? If we want people to buy in to what we're saying, it pays to make them feel good. They'll pay more attention to positive information and they'll spend less time being critical of what we have to say. It doesn't take much to give people positive information. In fact, one of the best strategies is to tell people, I'm about to tell you some really good news and then give them a simple positive message that you know will brighten their spirits. This can have a huge effect on whether they pay attention to you, your business, and value what you have to say. My mom and dad did this on post-it notes for me and my husband, Eric, but you can do it in your copy, in your conversations, your emails, or on social media. I'm Micah Larson. I help women entrepreneurs be taken seriously and get buy-in for their businesses. You can take my five-question quiz at my link in the video description.